This week, a chance for all of us to make a difference in the community at our annual Give from the Heart Blood Drive. There's an urgent need for blood donations right now, and this is a great chance to help people right here in the River Region. Joining us by phone this afternoon is Melinda Hines with Life South Community Blood Centers. Thanks for joining us, Melinda. Thank you for having me. Melinda, we're always hearing about how there is a shortage of blood donations. Give us some perspective about what that means and what the current situation is. When we are facing shortages, and right now we are definitely looking um, at critical and then also emergency levels and O positive and O negative, um, it puts us in a situation where we are not comfortable um, in knowing that we are going to be able to have the inventory that we can actually fill the hospital orders as they come in. And um, as the two of you know, Life South supplies all of our community hospitals, surrounding county hospitals. So, you know, I've always said that, you know, just such a huge responsibility. And when we are facing a shortage and you hear that word, um, critical need or emergency need, it means that our inventory levels are not at a comfortable level that we feel as though when something happens or if that hospital needs those products, we don't have the products to fill their order to capacity. And that is so important that they have the products that they need each and every day when those patients need them. The need is real, and that's why WSFA is working with Life South on this blood drive. Walk us through how that process will work, when and where it is happening. You know, it's coming at such a great time, and I know we say that every year, but when we look at the first of the year, we're coming off of a holiday. Um, so we really look forward to this and proud to say this is our 17th year uh, partnering with you guys and bringing folks in and educating and raising awareness and love is in the air, right? So um, for Valentine's Day, we want you to put it on your list that this Friday, February the 10th, we want you to come and give from the heart. That's what it's called. Um, and we take a lot of pride in that, as y'all do as well. Um, we see a lot of WSFA staff come in that day and donate. Um, and then, of course, the community is coming in because you're using your voice to get them here. And we actually have five locations this year. So not only can you come to the donor center on Carmichael between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., we also will have our blood mobiles out. And we'll be at Walmart in Wetumpka from 10 to 5, Walmart Millbrook 10 to 5, and then Mama Goldberg. Um, in downtown Troy between 10 and 5, and then also our Prattville Donor Center, which is at the High Point Town Center, will be um, taking donors between 10 and 5. Um, every donor in the month of February will receive a $25 e-gift card, and it's a Tango uh, e-gift card, so if you're not familiar with that, you can um, go to their website and choose uh, where do you want to spend that money? There's hundreds of different retailers that participate in that program. So um, that's something that we're proud that we're going to be able to give each donor. And then, of course, we have a special T-shirt for them. Um, we also have some Black History Month T-shirts as well. So there may be some people that want to take the, take advantage of those because we don't have their kind of first come, first serve. We wish we had a lot more of them. Um, but we've got food. We've got prizes. We've got all kinds of things. We're going to be serving breakfast for each donor between 6 a.m. and 10 here at the Donor Center. Um, donations and compliments of Murphy Family Restaurants. McDonald's is serving hot cakes and sausage for the early donors. And believe me, we have 6 a.m. donors. So come out and be with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You have great food, good snacks out there. And then you have that gift of knowing that you have given the gift of life. Melinda, so many of us want to help, but for those of us who may not be able to donate blood, say for medical reasons, how can we support you? You know what, if you know that you cannot donate or maybe you're just not gonna be able to make it and um, you can you know, maybe come on another day, but invite someone, you know, say, hey, I'm not able to donate, but I really, this is close to my heart and I really want you um, to go donate in my place, or I'll go with you if you'll just do it for me, because you can save up to three lives with one donation. So um, if you're unable to donate, invite someone to replace you. That is the same as saving someone and helping with those needed products. Melinda Hines, thank you so much for talking with us today. We're looking forward to Friday. Thank you. Can't wait to see you guys.